everyone, Molly Pope here of Molly Pope Art. I have a really quick little tutorial for you that is a watercolor dragonfly painting. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the comment section and like and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching. To begin their dragonfly watercolor painting, um, I began with a pencil drawing on just multimedia paper. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to outline certain areas of the dragonfly using a very light mix of a light brown. Now, I bought a palette off of Amazon. It was super cheap. We use these palettes in my adult art class and they're fantastic for playing around with watercolors uh, to see if you like watercolor. And trust me, I have always learned and painted with um, inexpensive materials. You do not have to go out and buy hundreds of dollars of art supplies to learn if you like art um, if to learn what sort of materials you enjoy working with, trust me, you do not have to spend a lot of money on materials. So after you've outlined your dragonfly with the brown, you'll notice that I used uh, teal green, um, or you can say teal blue, um, in certain parts of the eyes. So I didn't completely cover the eyes with this teal blue, and then. I wanted to really show the beautiful iridescent quality that dragonflies have um, in real life. So I did not want to um, completely cover the dragonfly with this beautiful teal. So what I did, the way I painted this, is that you see little areas of teal um, as if you would see sort of that sort of metallic iridescent quality if the sunlight were hitting a dragonfly in real life. Like it wouldn't show a solid color. You would see multifaceted uh, colors in the dragonfly. So I added that teal blue to start with in certain spots on the body and on the eyes. And then I used a purple. Um, and I also went in with sort of a brighter green and just hit that dragonfly in certain spots. Again, just to make it appear that it had some iridescent qualities to the dragonfly. And then in between the little sections of the dragonfly's body, I used a charcoal gray, or if you have really sort of any kind of gray, um, those that color, that darker color, went in between the sections of the dragonfly's body. You could use a gray, you could use a darker brown, um, you could use a sort of a watery mix of a black if black was too strong. Um, but that really self helps to sort of divide the sections and the segments of the dragonfly's body. And you see me just going back over the sections that have already been painted with a second layer of watercolor. Watercolor is very translucent and you have to build up layers. So your first pass of your watercolor just sort of adds a base layer, um, a wash layer. And your second color, you can add a little bit more paint um, and a little less water on your brush to get a little bit more coverage. It's always best to kind of let your watercolor dry down a little bit, and then you can assess whether an area needs to be deepened or not. Now, what we're doing in this um, part of the uh, dragonfly tutorial is I wanted to show the, these, the finished artwork has all these beautiful splashes of um, 
bright colors behind the dragonfly. So we're not actually, and a lot of that color you see behind his wings. This is what makes it so fun. We're actually adding these bright splashes of color behind the wings <clears throat> without actually painting his wings. So you're gonna wet certain little areas uh, of the dragonfly or of your paper where the wings are and you're going to then sort of flood those areas with uh, some watercolor washes. And you wanna kind of push and pull the watercolor a little bit. That's what you see me doing right here, is I'm kind of pushing and pulling that color so that it blends a little bit and so that the edges of the splotches are sort of broken. It adds a really beautiful, soft sort of, um, Oh, like a tie-dye effect, I think is the best way to describe this. So I used some red on one side and then uh, a little tiny bit of blue, uh, red and purple, a little splash of blue. And then on the other side, on the left-hand side, I used blue and two different shades of green. In those little sections, when you wet a watercolor paper um, and you wet little sections like you see being done in the video, um, and you add paint into that, those little sections, a beautiful thing happens with watercolor. It will all sort of merge together um, in a very soft, uh, deliberate way. Um, and you wanna use colors that are close beside each other in the color palette. Um, and that way you get this beautiful, soft, watercolory um, tie-dye effect without it being heavy or dark. Um, and then the best thing, the funnest thing to do with these paintings is to do some splattering. And you can just take a wet brush and load it with some watercolor paint. And you can either do two different techniques that I showed you here. One is tapping it on your other hand to get the splotches. And the other one is to rub your thumb across the um, edge of the brush and you'll get some nice, beautiful splattering. Now, if your splatters are too um, small and or too concentrated, you can go back and add just a little bit of clear water over those splotches, like what you see me doing here, and those splotches will kind of spread out a little bit and soften up. And the last fun thing to do with this watercolor dragonfly is once your paper dries down, um, you can just use a fine nib um, marker. You can use a fine tip Sharpie if that's what you have. And you're going to outline his wings. You're going to outline his body. And you're just going to make this dragonfly watercolor painting come to life by adding this marker over the top of your watercolor painting. This is so fun to do. I really hope you give this a try. And you're just going to continue outlining all four of his wings and the little parts of his body, his little antenna, his eyes, and just continue using that pen and outlining every little detail. And I promise you, this makes such a huge difference in your painting. You're going to love this. And you're just going to continue outlining every little bit of your dragonfly. And if you have any questions on how to draw your dragonfly or how to um, paint with watercolors or what palette to buy, just ask a question in the comments. And I am so happy to help you. And I hope you learned something. And thank you so much for spending your time with me. And please like and subscribe for more content. Have a great rest of your day.
Thank you.